Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be using the gel box products because I suddenly had an epiphany earlier and realised that I haven't used the colours from the most recent box, which is strange because I always do a design using the colours after I receive them. So I thought what better time to do it than now, for some reason I can't seem to tuck myself under my desk, there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using the most recent boxes uh, gels basically and they Oh, that was a bit aggressive and this is what they look like so we've got a nude a green and a pink this these are the colors so in this box they've actually put the colors on the bottoms of the bottles which is good because the other boxes that i've received didn't have any names on so it's it's nice i can tell you what the names are so this color that i'm using as the base is actually the builder gel that i got within the box as well which is this one and it is called tequila rose as you can see the writing is tiny but you can read it so tequila rose is the builder gel color that i've used and then the colors that we're going to be using for the design are as follows the nude is blush martini the green is apple sours and the pink is pink lemonade so I'm just going to clean off my palette because it's got some of the polishes on that I've just used for another video. Um, I'm just going to get rid of those. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm not 100% to be honest, I usually sit and like figure out what I'm going to do before I start a video, whereas I haven't with this one. I'm just going to sort of do something and just hope that it goes well and if it doesn't, I'm going to post it anyway because I'm not just sitting here for no reason. Um, so I think... I'm hoping this nude goes with the base of this gel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paint half of this, not, maybe not half, almost half, like two thirds of the nail. I'm going to paint with this nude colour, which name I've already forgotten. About to grip and have a bottle anywhere near me that's useful um so you want to just say yeah so i'm painting this half um obviously as you can see with this color i need to get rid of that fluff that's at the top of this nail before that ends up in the design somewhere where i don't want it um, and then once I've done that, I'm just going to pop that one into the lamp for a full cure. So that's going to be curing while I'm doing whatever it is that I'm going to do next. Um, I probably need to figure out what I'm going to do, to be fair, before I start doing things. I have to get frustrated because I do something that I wish I didn't and then it just spirals. But I'm going to go with it. It's fine. It might go well, hopefully. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one but on the other side this time. And I think the third nail, because I'm going to do three nails all together. Um, I think I'm going to do it like the complete opposite of both of these nails and maybe put the line of this down the middle, I think. I will do a second coat of this um, off camera, by the way. So I'm going to do, like I just said, I am going to do the mid, the other one the same, but down the middle. So it's the opposite of both those. So I'm going to pop some on my palette. And then apply that to the nail. Just need to clean off my brush. So... Find that down the middle. So first things first, I'm just going to get my centre line done. Or as close to anyway. And then I can work on adding more to both sides of it. So 
So I've added some to the left side and now just bulking it up by adding more to the right so it's nice and what's the word symmetrical although symmetry really is not my forte so good luck to me for that one <laughs> I think it needs a little bit more down this side at the bottom. I usually get carried away at this stage and then end up making it way wider than I wanted it, but I am going to be doing nail art on top of the nude. Um, so the more the merrier this time. So I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure. I need something else as my base for this video instead of this coloured card because my phone hates this lilac -y colour. I don't know why but I always have problems with focus and looking blurry and stuff when that is the base. So I'm going to change it. Um, so I'm going to pop some of the green and the pink onto my palette as well so they're ready for me to use. And then that first nail that I did should be ready now because it's been in the lamp long enough. So I'm going to do the second coat on all of the nails and then I'll come back ready for the next step. Okay, I also forgot to mention that this is matte because I used the matte top coat, um, which is called Matte Me Up from the gel box box that I got. Um, I just completely forgot to mention that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop a line of the pink and a line of the green alongside the nude. So I'm going to start with the pink on this one. And I want quite a thick line. Alongside the nude. Now once I've done that, I'm going to flash cure that because I'm not going to be like drawing, like painting over it with the other colour. So I can just quickly flash cure it. But in the meantime, I'm just going to do this one as well because obviously I've already got the pink on my brush. So again, same sort of thickness. I'm just using the natural thickness of the brush and then I know if I do the same thing on every nail, it's going to be about the same thickness. So I'm just spraying, spraying, splaying the bristles from the brush. And that is how I'm making sure that it's the right thickness of line. So then I'm going to put that one into the lamp as well. And then in the meantime, I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. But this time, I'm going to do a line either side of this one. That first one definitely didn't turn out to be a flash cure, it's just fully cured now, but obviously it doesn't matter. And once I'm happy with that, I'll pop that in the lamp and then I can move on to my green. So I'm just going to get this pink off my brush, make sure it's completely clean. And then I'm going to go into my green. And then I'm going to go alongside the pink with the green. I 
again just playing the bristles and making sure to do that all the way down the nail so we get a nice even thickness for the whole line like so and then I'm going to pop that one into the lamp and do the other two the same way And then again, the other one, pop in the green alongside the pink. And then into the lamp and then by the time I've done that the first one's ready because I'm not going to be doing anything with those two lines anyway so it doesn't matter 100% if they're not fully cured. So I'm going to be getting the dotting tool now because we're going to do a bit of animal print. And we're going to go into my green. That's got hair on it. Let's get rid of that before it sabotages me. Do you know what? Hairs are out to get me I swear. <laughs> anyway so we're going into the green and this time we're just going to be doing some animal print just on the painted nude area I'm going to be doing the green and the pink so I'm leaving some space when I'm doing the green one to fit some pink in so once I've done the green I'll clean off my dotting tool and go with the pink just creating completely random shapes different sizes like so and then I'm going to cure that oh gosh we're not focused again I'm going to do it again in a second anyway so I'm not going to do this one on camera because it's obviously the same as the one that I've just done um so I'll do that off camera but we're just going to go in with this one and actually make sure it's focused we're just gonna do the exact same thing but obviously it's just a different shape of nude that we're working with this time Wipe off the excess pink, pick up some green. And then once I'm happy, which I am, I'm going to pop it into the lamp. There is a hair in that pink bit. So I'm just going to get this brush. See if I can lift it out. Yeah, there we go. Obviously, just to make sure that I'm happy with the pink again, fill it in so it's not weird. And then I'm going to pop that into the lamp. I'm going to do the same on this one off camera quick. Okay, so I've popped some black onto my palette and I'm using this little tiny reusable um, orange stick to apply my black. I'm just going to use that to go around the outside of the shapes that I've just created with the colours. Creating little squiggles. Wish I had more eyes than I have so I could have like one sat just staring at the camera the whole time to make sure that my phone isn't blurry <laughs> and then the other two to actually do what I'm supposed to be doing it'd be really helpful. So that's how that looks at the moment. And then I'm just going to go in between and just add some more black shapes. Just to fill in any gaps. And then other gaps that are like not 
slightly big enough for an actual shape to go in. I'm just filling with dots. Like so, I'm just gonna pop one more there, and then that's it for that. I'm gonna pop that one into the lamp. Sorry if you can hear dog bark in the background, it's not mine, it's coming from over the back of our house. Don't know whose dog it is, but it basically just barks. Not like non stop, like it's not, I don't think it's neglected or anything like that. It just is very annoying. <laughs> Most of the time, it's barking, I can hear its own and telling him to be quiet, but obviously doesn't listen um so yeah i'm just going to do the same thing with all of the shapes on all of the nails so i'm not going to film all of it because obviously it's pretty straightforward i'll do the other one off camera um but yeah just something really simple but really effective and then again just going to create some more shapes in the larger gap some little kidney beans that I like to call them and then anywhere that's not a really big enough gap for a proper shape I'm just gonna pop some dots again like so and then once I'm happy which I am now I'm gonna pop that into the lamp and I'll do the other one off camera quick so once I've done that, I do want to keep the nude bits like of the Builder Gel um, matte, but I want the rest to be shiny. So I'm going to go over with a no wipe top coat just over the areas that I've got nail art on, basically. Um, obviously, you don't need to do that. You can do whatever you want. You can have them, you can have it shiny, you can have it all matte, you can have it all shiny, like whatever you want to do. But I'm just going to mix it up and have a bit of both. So something different. Um, I don't have a glossy top coat from the gel box, so I'm just using one from a different brand. Because um, it, it's a, what's it? It's a display tip, so who cares? Um, so I'm just making sure, again, just to get it on the nail art area. If I did get any on the matte area, I'd just go over with a nail art brush, just remove it before it goes into the lamp. I'm actually quite happy with how these turned out. It's always a bit nerve wracking when I decide not to pre-plan a set. Because um, don't get me wrong, it doesn't always go well. I mean, to be fair, oh gosh, um, everyone's opinions are different. Like Some people might not think that this set went well. I just happen to like it. So I'm counting this one as a win. Um, you have to let me know what your opinion is. But yeah, I'm going to wait for these to fully cool in my lamp and then I will show you what they look like when I'm finished. So here is what they look like all finished. I actually really love them. Please mind the hairs on my um, brush, but it's just all stuck to the... That's a bit better. Not great, but there we go. Um, yeah, they're just stuck to the tape. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know whether you'd wear nails like this or not. Um, I'm not really a massive fan of like pink and green, but I actually think this went quite well. So I hope you do too. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.